good morning. Elisa's <laughs> here. Hey. Evelyn is sleeping in the back. <laughs> We're headed to Sweden for the first time in a year and a half. And I'm so excited. I can finally like shop vegan stuff. Evelyn is picking up gluten free stuff. And you're picking up soda. Soda. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also getting soda and energy drink. Mm -hmm. I have like a full list. And then I have like laundry detergent. <laughs> That's Dishwasher <laughs> tablets. <Yeah>. Fun <laughs> <Fence> stuff. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Hi, vlogging. <laughs> It was, uh, I was dying, it was um, an article on Vega mm. that in Sweden they had to change, like white and blonde, yeah. had to change from uh, orange to, uh, to red mm. because they had a, a sex camp or yep. a sex festival. <laughs> they had a sex festival with like a hundred people <laughs> having sex, sex people. on this festival. No, it was like a hundred and six people. It wasn't sex like naked sex, it was tantric sex. They basically sit in a fucking ring, three and three people, <laughs> like doing this and stealing like energy from each other or like oh. sharing sexual energy. That was tantric sex. Is. That's even worse. Yes, you, 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 you're spreading COVID without the blood. Yeah, but like, how, how do you explain that? So how do you get COVID? Well, well, you know, I went to this sex thing. <laughs> But we didn't really have sex, but it was sexual, and we breathed on each other, and so that's how I got it. That's like, and this was for like seven days, and this oh, festival wow. have been there for like a couple of years now. Yeah, yeah but like it's like the fifth, fifth or seventh year. And something. that's why we're going to a red place today instead of <laughs> yeah. a yellow one. They're all full of vaccinated, by the way. Yes. Is step number one to get rid of this Poor car. It's gonna get so full. Hey guys. We are headed back into Sweden. Elisa and Evelyn are out of the car in the store to fix something. I didn't bother. So we are um, just about to cross back over the border. We will be stopped, which everyone is these days. I'll show you the hole when I get home. Um, I think I'm gonna make this a separate vlog and haul video so that it's easier for me. No, 
berätta med Peppe Söderman. The clock just turned midnight and I am so ready for bed. So I think I'm just gonna take in everything that has to be cold and then I'll leave all the sodas and stuff for tomorrow. I don't know how she got into the window, but apparently she did. I am so warm and sweaty after carrying everything inside. But I'm gonna show you everything I got. Cold today, other stuff tomorrow. We have in Post-based iced latte, vegan ham, vegan pepperoni, vegan smoked ham, hazelnut coffee syrup. I was supposed to get caramel, but they didn't have it. Vegan pepper jack, more vegan paprika slices, and then I have six of these molik. These are from Marius chocolate milk, basically. Bacon, which is also for Marius, obviously. And then I have some soy milk. I just got two because we were running out of space in the car. And then oddly good oat milk barista. I've heard this is a good alternative to Oatly a cafe, which is continuously sold out. And then these two are new. This is a Alpro plant protein. This is the chocolate flavor. And then we have the not flavored. I guess it's just like soy milk with extra protein. And then this is where all the goodies are. Um, this is some almond-based iced coffee from Starbucks. I have not tried this, I think. I know I've looked for it, but I haven't found it. And then I have struggled to find vegan cream cheese in Norway now, so I have the creamy cheddar and then the original. Those are from uh, Violife. And then we have some vegan Bernay, vegan kebab sauce. This is green goodness, which is, or goddess, sorry, green goddess with avocado and lime. And it says this is good for like grilled veggies. And then we have another vegan spread. Please ignore her. <laughs> She's starved for attention, it sounds like. And then this is just a garlic sauce. Another Bernay. We have the last Malik. Uh, this is just some vegan caviar, seaweed caviar. And then I found this coffee tonic. I have no idea what this is like, but I wanted to try it. And then lastly in here, I just have some Coca-Cola vanilla zero sugar. Um, so I have seven of these. Um, those were all the things in my cold bags. I know for sure I have another one of these somewhere. And then I got another all pro protein. They've gotten small ones with protein. I had the car coffee protein or caramel coffee protein, something like that. It was really, really good. I also have the chocolate one. I haven't tried that yet, so I think I'll try that tomorrow. It's in a bag somewhere, and I'm, I don't know if it has to be cold, so I'm going to see if I can find it. But I'm going to just move everything here into the fridge. These ones don't have to be cold until they are used. And then this one was just in there because there was space. Oh, and then I also got two of these. Capri Sun Orange for Marius. Hey guys, excuse me sitting on the floor, but I'm just gonna share everything that I bought yesterday. So there are a lot of food and snacks, which is mainly why we go. I know, also know that a lot of this is not healthy food because I can buy healthy food in Norway. That's not why I go to Sweden. So just keep that in mind because I always get nasty comments on these videos 
Um, but this is not food. This is a filament ball, but because I bought a lamp that I can have on one of the side tables that's going up in my room. Um, and this is a huge lamp. So filament just means that you can see like where before we used lead, you could always see it like the glowing. And that's kind of what this is illustrating. Um, I have the lamp in a different bag. Um, and then this is just some clothes wash. And then this is also clothes wash. This is just like Tide Pods. That's for clothes, right? That's what this is. Um, I've never tried something like this for clothes before, so I thought it would be interesting to see how it works. And then I got five of this soap. This is fudge scented. And it has a vegan marking in the back. I don't know if they used to do that, but they definitely do now, which is great. I got five of these because they smell so good. They smell like caramel fudge and it's amazing. Typically, we've only found these around Christmas, um, but because the border has been closed, I think that's why they have these now. And um, because they had other Christmas scents as well that I remember seeing here during Christmas. And then I have a few deodorants for Marius, which are Nivea Dry Impact Roll-On. And then I have a deodorant for me. This is the Dove Invisible Dry. I prefer the stick to the roll-on. Um, I don't know. I just feel like it's... I don't know if it works better. I just like the feeling more. I didn't have coffee before sitting down, which was a mistake. <laughs> uh, and then I found this Twisted Strawberry... Coca-Cola light, so I'm definitely gonna be trying this as well. And then we have some snacks because I found so much vegan snacks of different kinds. So this is lentil, like it's lentil boats, I guess, with a cheddar cheese taste and they are vegan and vegetarian friendly. I got two of the cheddar flavor. And then I got two of the sour cream and onion flavor. And then I got some snacks for Molly. These are the liquid snacks that she loves. I got one salmon and one chicken. They were a little bit cheaper in Sweden than here. And then they had this vegan fruit toffee. I do not remember if I've ever seen something like this, a vegan version. And this is half a kilo for 40 Norwegian kilometers. And then we have some more drinks. These are Pandy. Um, Monday to Sunday, 100% vegan, 100 milligrams of caffeine, zero sugar, zero calories, like an energy drink type thing. So this is the raspberry flavor, and then we have the apple strawberry, pineapple, and the last one is lemon lime. And I haven't tried those before, so I wanted to see what they are like. And then I also picked up a plant pot, which looks like this. I think these go around everywhere these days, like with the faces on them. Um, and I think this got a little nick while we were traveling, but that's fine. This is also 40 Norwegian Kroger. I'm a little bit unsure which of my plants will fit in this because it's quite shallow and there's no hole in the bottom, so I can't really plant anything in here by myself. Unless I do take holes in the bottom. Um, but it was cute, so I'll figure something out. And then I have two sets of just like butter knives because we have some in wood from Ikea and they're great but the they don't look very great anymore and i don't know if we're gonna throw them away but i would like to have some more options and these were like super inexpensive and then this is the lamp that i picked up um this, i got white and gold i wanted to get this black and uh, copper but they didn't have that color that i could see anywhere so i got this instead this is very light, so I wonder if it's made from like wood or something like that. Um, yeah, it's actually definitely made of wood. You can see the inside. So it's not perfect, but it's fine. Um, so this is the base, and this is antique white. Um, like the light is antique white. So I have been looking at these filament bulbs from Philips Hue because that's what usually what we use in our house and what we used in our apartment. Um, I actually think that's quite a nice size. It's just gonna be like for a little uh, table lamp. So not like a reading light or anything, but just something to have on the side. It's quite cute. And then it has like the power cord with the light switch on it. And then I found this. 
Um, this is chips from OLW with barbecue versus cola. So it's like a barbecue cola chips, which I don't know how I feel about that, but it was just too weird not to try it, honestly. I just had to pick it up. As far as I could tell, it was also vegan, so. Uh, and then we have these uh, sour cream onion vegan bean balls. These are like chips type things. Uh, all, since most of these are made with lentils or chips, um, lentils or beans, they are more uh, healthy than a regular chip and they also have more protein in content in comparison. Hi. And then they also had ranch. This is the same type thing, a bean ball with a creamy ranch flavor and sour cream and onion and ranch flavors are like nearly impossible to find in vegan chips. So when I find those, I usually stock up. Uh, and then this is just the uh, Tutti Frutti Chewy Fruits, like a little bag. I meant to have this as a road trip snack yesterday, but I didn't really have a lot of snacks, so. Uh, and then this is just some crisp bread from Vasa. This is the sesame sea salt chips, chips, crisps, crisp breads. And uh, these are also really nice. They cost like twice as much in Norway as they do in Sweden. Next up, I have some of these caramel sticks. These are really nice. They have gone uh, gelatin-free for all, all of their things as far as I've seen. These like uh, sticks in different kinds. Some of them still do have carmine in them as a coloring, but for the most part, they are vegan now as far as I can see. And then I have six of these micro popcorn. Draw big with butter. This uh, does contain milk, so these are not for me, but I got six of them for Marius because they're his favorite type of popcorn and we cannot find these in Norway. And then we have the other sour cream and onion bean ball. This is just a lentil chips with cheese and um, red onion. Again, it is vegan mark, which is super convenient. Um, and then here's the other one with the ranch flavor. And then this is just a lentil chips that is also ranch flavored. We have another drink. This is Celsius Positive Energy with strawberry marshmallow flavor, which just seems so weird. This feels kind of cold, so I'm gonna try this. I'll definitely finish it. I don't know if I would have gotten more than one though if I had tested it. I just got one, so. And then we have some pick and choose candy, which is what like Sweden is famous for. I got one bag for Marius, which just has dime chocolate. And then I got this one for me. This is random things that are all packaged so that I can just like take out one piece if I want to. Some small things of love hearts, some Pez, some Mentos, and these are banana skids and also Mariana chip uh, drops, which are like a mint outside with a chocolate filling. And then I got three mouthwashes. These are just the Flux Cool Mint, which we usually use. We haven't had that in a while because I didn't buy a new one in the middle of moving. Um, but they had three, four, two, I believe it was in Sweden. So I picked up three of those. Um, and then I also just, this is some Alvedon, which is like a paracetamol and this apparently is like a quick working kind. I don't know And I also got from the pharmacy some these like worm Cures for cats So I got two for my mom and then I also got one for us and then we also stopped by the liquor store I don't know if you can see Those three here Two of those are beer, one of them is a non-calorie battery energy drink for me, and then the two other ones are beer for Marius, one of the beers. I did actually pay the tolls and whatnot for importing the alcohol because I bought, bought more than we're allowed to bring in without any extra costs. And I felt good yesterday, so I paid. Usually, or a lot of the time, people just cross the border. So we have a crisp peach urban peers cider. This one is the Harjunga cider with um, raspberry and strawberry. This is the Sante liqueur 
premium spirit coconut cream and pear vegan friendly. Uh, so this is going to be interesting to try. I haven't seen something like this before. And then it has like a little recipe and stuff on the back, which is nice. Um, I also got two bottles of wine. This is a Moscato di Asti from um, Castillon. And that's for us. And then I also picked up a bottle of wine for my mom as a thank you for helping us with the apartment. Uh, this is the Touch of Down Under Organic Wine Shida Cabernet Sauvignon. And this is the International Organic Wine Award from 2020, where they got the gold medal. I also have the Sommerspi Pina Colada Cider, which sounds... Either it's re really good or it's not good at all. I feel like that's the two types of ways that that swings. Uh, and then this one is also vegan, but I picked this up mostly just because it looks really cool. I don't know how well you can see that up to you. But this is Glitterfisk uh, Diamond, which is a drink mixer with edible glitter in it. And this is elderflower and lime flavored. And I really like elderflower. So we'll see what this actually tastes like in a drink. But I don't know if you can see how shimmery this is. Um, Evelyn and Elisa also got one each of this. Because it just looks so cool. We have some wine that looks like that. Which is now expired, so we just use it for decoration. Which is wine of wine of fire i got a three liter of wine which i'm not sure where i put it yeah i don't know where i put it but i also got a three liter carton of wine and then i got those three here i'll show you here so we have granges or granges this is a 2.1 percent beer which means that you don't have to pay import for it in norway no matter how much you bring with you i have no idea how um this tastes. I have never tried it before, but uh, it was really cheap for the tray. And then this is the no calorie energy drink. This is for me. And then this is just regular beer, Karlsberg, which is, I think, Danish. And well, it just says right here Danish export because it's one of Mary's favorite beers. So I brought home one of those. And then we also have. Here, four trays of Coca-Cola and one tray of Red Bull as well. They had like a 4-4 or four something deal with the cola trays, which is why I got so many. I was only planning on getting two. I don't know where I left my wine. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna find my wine, but I am uh, gonna go. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give this video a like. You can subscribe down below if you haven't done so already. For 2021, I am vlogging every single week. And yeah.